Welcome back to the National Driving Centre. We're going to show you how to turn one of these into one of these. Welcome back to the National Driving Centre. So let's talk through the key points for the LGV driving test. First of all, you're going to meet your examiner. Okay, once you've met the examiner, you're going to make your way to your vehicle. Once you get to the vehicle, we're then going to do our show me, tell me questions. Okay, um, we've already made a video on these show me, tell me questions. We will put the link in the description below. Once we've done the show me, tell me's, you're going to then carry out the reversing exercise. Okay, the examiner will be outside the vehicle for this. Once you've then got your vehicle into the bay, the examiner will jump into the vehicle and you're going to go out for your 50 minute drive. So let's go out there and see what's involved. Okay then Keith, so let's start at the beginning and let's, uh, let's go with preparation. So what can we do to prepare for our test, mate? Um, Get a good night's sleep the night before. It's got to be one of the most important ones. Well, not down the pub. Don't go down a pub. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> don't go down a pub. Um, have a good night's sleep the night before. Ride to the test centre nice and early. You don't want to get there and be in a rush. You want to get there, make it nice and easy for you. A little bit early, get yourself prepared for it. Yeah, yeah, this is it. And obviously, you know, the diet as well. You don't want to be going for a full full English before your, your test because then it's going to make you yeah. feel bloated, it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. So absolutely. And, and dress code as well I think is important. The, the amount of times we've had people turn up nice and comfortable bef you know, whilst we're training and then suddenly on the day they turn up in a three-piece suit with wrinkle Yeah, no, on. comfortable trainers, make yourself nice and comfortable. Absolutely. Just, absolutely. You know, just take it nice and easy. That's it. Um, people turn up for a test without a driving licence. Oh. That's always a bit of a shocker. That's it. Turn straight home. It doesn't work. <laughs> this yeah. is it. So yeah, don't forget your license is obviously obviously a key one. Yeah, definitely. So preparation. That's what it starts with. In, yeah, brilliant stuff. So at the beginning of the test, you're going to get show me tell me. Yes. Um, what are we going to do to help us all the way through the show me tell me? Well, I think show me tell me is definitely that first foundation where the examiner is sort of making that first assumption assumption of you. Yeah. So if you're you know, floundering if you're rushing or anything like that. You know, he, he's, it's not going to be a good start. So, you know, take your time. Give lots of information with those show me tell me's. If he doesn't want it, he'll tell you, don't tell me about that. But yeah. give that, put that information yeah. forward. Definitely. And if there, there's, there's five or six questions that your instructor would have been through with you anyway. Of course. So you know it. And, you know, it's, it's getting that first, jumping that first hurdle, it's getting ourselves going. That's off it. to a good start. That's it, that's it. So yeah, lots of information, be nice and confident with your answers. And I think it's a good foundation to begin from. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so the next one is gonna be understanding the examiner, Keith. Right. So what, what does that entail? What are we gonna think, be thinking about? Um, I think it's the examiners, they're, they're normal blokes, you know, and women. You know, um, they're fair, they're not out there to fail you. They're on their side, they're actually there to Make sure you're just a safe driver and they're yeah. willing to give you the license to, you know, to, to go out there and drive because they're good vehicles. That's it. And, and you know, when, when it comes to chatting around, yes, some of them will have a little chit chat on the way around, some of them will be deadly silent. This is not because they want to be rude. Yeah. They know you're yeah. trying to concentrate and you've got a lot of work to do. So don't feel like you have to engage with them or if they don't talk to you, he's the you know, the hardest examiner in the world. That's not the case. It, it don't, really doesn't work with you like that, does it? No, a lot of examiners, I mean, you can have a chat, but, but pick your times when you're going to talk to them. Don't yeah. be coming out to a key roundabout and say, so, do you have a nice holiday? That's it. That's they're, they're not, it's not yeah. going to go down well. Of you know? course, of course. Because, yeah, sometimes it's so easy to have those students that will go into a, a full monologue on where they've been this year on yeah. holiday, and they'll make those, those little errors. So, you know, I always tell my students you know have a little one word answer um, but don't feel like he's going to think oh this student's being rude because he's only given me one word answers that's not the way it works it's not the way it works not at all. important thing to remember the examiner isn't there to, to fail you 
You know, that's not his yes. objective. Yeah. He's there, he's on your side. He wants to pass you. If you give him a good, safe, comfortable drive where he's happy, you will pass. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. it, exactly it. He's gonna do little things to help you as well. You know, so if he says to you, um, at the roundabout, we're gonna be turning right, that word turn means he wants a signal. He's trying to help you. you know, that's, that's, that's what they're there to do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the, it's always the, the clue is in the wording, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? yeah so at the end of the road pull, we are going to be turning right. Location, prime location, straight away. I've seen the giveaway line on the left. I know you've told me to turn right at the end of the road, so straight on the mirrors, onto the indication, speed change on the ground there. It's, it's, it's like you said, it's all in the wording. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, another thing about examiners, sometimes you might see them making little notes on your on your drive. It doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. And sometimes I go, oh, I've done a safe location. He might just jot it down. And don't be put off or tempted to try and look over the his DL25 or his iPad of course, to, to of see course. what he's doing. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it's not that they're going to be writing down their their shopping list, but don't flinch to it. Don't think, oh, that's it. It's all out the window now. He's written something down. Don't, don't react, you know, be confident what you're doing, be confident. At the roundabout, well, we're going to be turning left first exit. Yeah, so it's exactly that, you know, telling us what's coming up is, is just emphasising what's there, it's just listening to that examiner. If you need something repeated, just ask for it. They won't mind. They don't mind if you want it repeated for the for the second or even that really embarrassing third time. They don't mind. You know, they know you're you're concentrating and you might not have heard them that first time. So you know, don't be embarrassed if you need to ask for that that order to be repeated. They want to go the right way. They don't want to go the wrong way. So yeah, definitely. So are we going to get ourselves in the correct frame of mind and work with the actual pressure of doing that test on the day? Your nerves are going to be there. This what are we going to do? I think, I think the key thing with this one is be positive. You know, if, if we, the instructor, weren't confident that you could do it, you wouldn't be in no. this position. You wouldn't be here taking the test. So, you know, if we've put you into that position, we feel that you are yeah. confident and you are able yeah. to get through it. So if we feel you're, you're positive and you're ready to go, yeah. You've got to be positive. Uh, you know, you know you can do this. This is it's not rocket science. This is not open heart yeah. surgery. No, no, no. This is driving a bigger vehicle than what you're used to. And it's just driving it to that standard. Yeah. So I think, yeah, don't don't let the pressure bombard you. Yeah. You know, so often is the case where the, the, the student will say, Oh, but you know, if I don't get this then I don't get my job, then I don't go on holiday, then I can't buy the house. That's far too much to take on. Deal with it just one step at a time. It's just just that little drive for an hour. That's all it is. I've always found that people are sort of, they look at their weather apps on their phone. Yes. Oh, it's going to rain tomorrow, I'll take yes. the test tomorrow. It's, it's not nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's still it hasn't just, rained all week. It's still, but, it's still, yeah. gonna, it's, you're still driving. Okay, That's you it. might slow things down on approach course, a little bit, but you are still just driving. The, the weather conditions shouldn't really be Shouldn't really, no. If no. the weather's that adverse, then they'll cancel the test in of the course, first place anyway. No. That's it. That's yeah. it. And, you know, it's when you get back and the examiner does congratulate you, well done, you've passed, or unfortunately you've not got through it, don't let the emotions overwhelm you. Know? If you've passed it, of course, be happy, but if, yeah. um, unfortunately if you haven't reached the required standard, don't let the aggression kick in, because you know, if you come back for a retest in you know, three or four or five days, yeah. it might be, it might be the same examiner. Yeah. So just keep yourself cool and calm, yeah. you know, it's, it's not the end of the world. Just come back for a retest, he's gonna tell you what you, what you, you know, yeah. failed on, and, and you can then, brush up those points and you know you can come back and pass it the second time. The majority of people pass first time anyway. Yeah. But if you do fail that test, the examiner's going to sit there and he's going to give you a good debrief, of tell course. you what of went course. wrong. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's it's almost like a free lesson. He's helping yes, you, telling you what to do the next it. time you yeah. come for your test. He's giving you that independent yeah. view of yeah. someone watching your drive. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, so the next helpful hints and tips we're going to talk about is instructor and training. Keith, what are we going to talk about? So your, your instructor wants to get you wants to get that perfect pass. He's always going to want to get that perfect pass. Doesn't always happen. Well, if you make little mistakes, 
we don't want people to think it's the end of the world, that's it, it's all gone wrong, yeah. and start driving erratically, give up. You haven't, doesn't mean you failed the test. No. It might mean you picked up a minor, you might have forgot a blind spot. Yeah. You might be that little bit late with that indication. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're gonna fail on it if you do it on, on, on a no, occasion. No. And so often it's the case where someone, a student is driving, they'll make that small little error, and they'll be thinking about that error. Oh, I, I've done that, I've done that. And that wouldn't have failed you, like you said, but it because they're thinking about that error, the next error yeah. will fail them because they're so focused on that that single error that they're not concentrating on the rest of the drive. So put it if, if, if a little mistake is made, put it behind you. Don't dwell on it. Don't let it be that, that little you know tick in the back of your brain that you're thinking, oh my God, this is it, oh, that's it all over. Step over it. Let's get forward and you know get back onto the the swing set again. You know it's, it's just keeping ourselves in that driving mode. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The test doesn't finish till you get back to your test centre. Yes, that's yeah. when it finishes, and that's when the examiner says, "Okay, I'd like you to make the vehicle safe and switch it off." Yeah. that's when you can relax. That's when you know you've Up till then, let's be on the ball. Let's yeah. be really on it. And I think another important thing with with, with training and, and instructor is don't change what you've been doing all, all for the not. for the training period. Definitely you know, not. it's too easy to to think, oh well, I'll, I'll, I'm on test day now. Yeah. I'll go that little bit slower, yeah. or I'll go that little bit faster. Yeah. You know, don't change what you've yeah. been doing for so long because if your instructor hasn't brought it up, it wasn't That's wrong right. to begin with. That's history, right. You know? Yeah. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Try and fix of it. course. You know, leave course. it alone. Yeah. This is it. This is it. Yeah. And you know, commentary driving. Oh, I think. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant. One of the greatest teaching aids I think I've ever come across. Um, you know, it helps so much because it makes you focus so much. I think you know we've all come across that that commentary drive where that student just gets to a sort of area and they can't get any better. So you make them talk about it, and suddenly, you know, they've stepped up. You know. Yeah. 100% on, on their ability. It's just saying what you see. Yes. Yeah. And you're saying your, your process is out loud. Of course. So yeah. you're actually, not only are you saying it, you're yeah. doing it. Yes. You know, yeah. you're telling the examiner what you're going to do, yeah. as well as actually demonstrating you know how to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Commentary drive is brilliant. I, I, yeah. use, I use it Great awful teaching. lot in training. Great teaching. So, driving awareness. If you were to go the wrong way, for example, you know, provided you're doing it safely, it's not a fail. Well, at the roundabout, we are going to take the second exit, road ahead. The second exit, can't look at this guy on the left hand side. It's a stressful scenario. Um, okay, so, taking the second exit, taking the second exit, taking the second exit. Oh, okay, we've, we've gone the wrong way there, Paul. Oh. But it's not a problem. You was positioned to go left, you was indicating to go left. We've gone left, we've done what the paint McGraw told us to do. Okay, we wanted to go road ahead. Yes, yeah. Now, I don't want you doing this on purpose, <laughs> but if you make a genuine mistake and you go the wrong way, provided you do it safely, don't worry about it. Yeah, of course, of course. It's, you know, it's progress over safety. That following the road ahead for that destination is not the be all and end all. Safety and the driving code is what we're hitting. So as long as we've we've hit all our marks, you've got all your mirrors, you've got all your, your blind spots and observation, you're in the correct lane to do that manoeuvre, you finish and do that manoeuvre. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely the way. You can't go road ahead from a, a lane that's signposted, you're turning left. Yeah, I think personally for me, that's, I think, one of the highest failures, I think, you know, is, is people put themselves into a scenario and they feel they have to, you know, turning right from the middle yeah. lane, it, you know, with no paint on the ground, it's little things like that. Is I think one of the highest ones. I can almost guarantee at any point on someone's training, yeah. they've gone the wrong way. Yes, you yeah, know? And, and you start to think jump up and down and start singing and shouting. No, so no. don't let it worry about your don't test. Worry. That's it, that's it. Yeah, just brush it off. Yeah, it's it's not it's not the, the be all and end all. Yeah, you know, and it, it's just proving that if something does go a little bit wrong, just keep to that standard, yeah. keep. You know, keep working to the goal. Lots of mirrors, lots of blind spots. You know, really that, that full observation around you, so you know exactly who's around you and where you go. I've always found that one of the biggest things um, students always ask about or go on: Can I do this again? Can I do this again? Is roundabouts. Yes, yeah. always. So it just seems to be. You know, you can pick up a lot of minors or a serious or even a dangerous just for one manoeuvre, really easy on a roundabout. Absolutely. Um, 
So we're looking for, we don't want to be rushing out on gaps. You know, we don't want to be over hesitant. We no. don't want to be going through when the room isn't there. Um, so we're going to do this roundabout. We're going to take the first exit road ahead, please, Paul. I think the key thing here is just bring that speed down. Slow down bring that approach. speed down. You know, racing up to that line, especially when you've got the blind approach here with the bus, you know, just take your time. Now I've got all this time in the world to see what's coming up on the right-hand side. I'm not rushed. I'm not having to slam on the brakes because there's so much going on. Take your time. Take your time. And if the gap doesn't look right, don't take it. You know, if, don't, if in doubt, you know, don't pull out. You know, you're not driving your your quick car anymore, you're in this slow moving vehicle. So if you're unsure if that gap is there, just be patient, your time will come. Don't feel pressured, especially from the people behind. Oh, you've some, got to get someone out. Bitch, yeah. Yeah. No. And then suddenly they'll pull out and that's it, it's all over because you've caused the car to the right to slow down. That person behind isn't gonna pay for your retest. Definitely not. Yeah, retest fee's coming out of your pocket. <laughs> he ain't gonna chip in no. and say, yeah, mate, it's that's 50 right. quid for that. Yeah. You know. Don't, don't feel pressured by, oh, well, I've been here sort of 10 seconds, yeah. half hour. You've probably been there three seconds, but it feels like yeah. a lot longer. If it's safe to go, oh, let's go. Oh, know. without a doubt, progress is... Uh, let's turn left, first exit, yeah. right about, please. If it's safe to go, we're going to go. Have to be on it. You know, but we're not going to feel pressured by other people, or even worse, sit there and thinking, the gap ain't there, I've got to go, I've got to go, he's going to do me for un under hesitation. This is it. isn't going to happen. This is it. The examiner wants that safe drive. Safe if the gap yeah. isn't there, he's sitting there thinking, don't go, don't go, yeah, don't go. He's probably thinking the yeah. same as you, I wouldn't yeah. go for that gap. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. Been out there on your drive, you're coming towards the end, you recognise the test centre, you're about to finish your test. Any tips, Bob? Just don't stop, don't let that standard dip because you know the test is coming to an end. You know. Very often, that, that that those marks can be picked up at you know the very beginning or the very end of the test, and so often at the end, because those students start relaxing, they oh yeah, I recognise this bit. The test centre's just on the left there. Ah, oh, that's it. Then it's all over, and then suddenly we've got marks on mirrors, blind spots, speeding. Yeah, just don't let that standard dip for until you've turned that engine off in that test centre. You know, it's, it's far too easy to pit for. Guys and girls, I hope this video has been a little bit of help for you. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Best of luck with your test.